The purpose of this video is to give instruction on how to prepare a T3 device for a sleep study. First you open up the Nuxternal software, then you plug a USB cable into the side of the T3 recorder, then in the Nuxternal software click start a new recording, and you place a check next to snore sound, and then you put a check next to cannula if you're going to use a cannula, and then once you've decided to use a cannula you have a choice of doing nasal pressure which is standard flow signal or if you're doing a follow-up sleep study with a patient on CPAP you can click mass pressure. In the channel 1 and channel 2 option I'm going to click channel 1 and then from the dot drop down menu I'm going to select submental because we're going to record for bruxism and place a sensor on the jaw. Uh, next I'm going to confirm that there's a check next to oximeter and verify the serial number in the software matches the actual oximeter I'm going to be using for this recording. And then finally I'm going to confirm that there's a check next to show signal status on device. If you clear that check, the patient will not be able to see waveforms on the T3 recorder. Click Next. And in this window we're going to decide whether or not we're going to manually start recording or start recording at a specified time and specified number of nights. So in this section of the setup you s select the time and the dates or day of the study and then you click next or in this case I'm going to click manually start recording and just give instructions on to the patient on how to start and stop the recording. Click next. You need to let the software know what type of battery you're using in order to give an accurate battery life in the software. So it's alkaline battery is standard which most batteries are. The more ex expensive lithium batteries last longer and then there's rechargeable battery option which the T3 can use. Uh, once you've done that click next. Uh, type in the patient's name and that's required. Uh, the, the rest of the information can be filled in later and click finish. Once you see the green thumbs up, that indicates that the message was sent to the T3 recorder and it's ready to send home to the patient.